Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's so great to see you. It's so great to be in front of this wonderful Canon EOS R that I've spent so much money on that I barely use anymore because I'm just a stupid film photographer. What an idiot! Um, so this week I kind of want to go back to not like basics, but I kind of want to start touching more on like how I operate as a film photographer and if you guys follow me on Instagram and if you've been a part of this channel for a while, you know that I do a lot of home developing and scanning myself. Many of you have probably heard of Cinestill's CS41 kit which is like a court kit um, and you can get them in powder form and in liquid form. This is a color liquid CS41 kit. It's full of all the, the chemicals in liquid form to make color processed film. And that excludes slide film. Um, this is basically all you really need chemically to color, fix, and stabilize your film before you can begin scanning it. So obviously it comes with written instructions, which we will briefly skim over because let's be real, who really reads instructions? I don't. And everything I've built in this house is sturdy as fuck. So instruction smishmuctions. I'm on one today, ladies and gents. So today we're just gonna kind of go over what I use to mix this, how I mix it, and how many develops I can get out of this little quart box here. All right. So we got all of our materials in a location where we're gonna mix it. Um, obviously, as you can tell, we are in my kitchen. Um, and so you're gonna wanna find somewhere you can mix it, obviously in your bathroom, your kitchen, your uh, mud room, if those still exist. So if you have somewhere that you can mix this with a sink, preferably that's the best spot for it. Obviously they come with instructions. Uh, we're not gonna read those today. We're not gonna need those. Why? Because I'm here to do it for you, baby. All right, so I think the first, God, this is this is driving me nuts. There's just too much going on here. First step would be to, I like what I like to do is I like to organize it into areas. So obviously you got your color developer part one, um, color developer part B, so two. I'm gonna get this situation under control because it's a hot fucking mess right now. Blocked me. What a fing loser. Uh, Cinestill's kit requires the water to be at 120 degrees. Um, that's why we have the water temperature thingy, my bobber there. Okay, so as I was mentioning before, I like to keep my shit like pretty organized. So like my bottles, I make sure that they're labeled correctly so that I don't mix them up. And obviously you can't see them because it's UV. So even when I am like prepping to make or to mix my chemicals, what I'll do is I will like, like organize them like this as to know which one goes to which and then I'll verify so that I don't mix up any of my batches. All right, so as I mentioned, I got the Cinestill development kit. So it comes with the thermometer, it came with uh, those accordion storage tanks, and then also it comes with um, your measuring cups. And here comes Tonka. What's up, buddy? Okay, and your measuring cups has all your measurements, um, basically for all of them, so it's pretty dope. Our distilled water, our distilled water is the most important part of this, um, just because 
Um, you don't want those harsh minerals on your negatives. So what I like to do is I just take a clean paper towel and just make sure it's nice and clean. Here's first step for your color developer. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need parts one, parts two, and parts three, along with your distilled water to make your color development mixture. So with this mixture, I'm gonna need 20 ounces of water, 20 ounces of water, 20 ounces of water. Now, I like to put the water, the distilled water, directly into the tub to get warm, and then I'll mix in my chemicals. It says to kind of mix them all together using like a silver, silver straw slash like a silver thing. I don't know the fuck. So basically, I'll get all my chemicals ready to mix in there. One, two, so that it's a smooth transition, if you will. Let's go, Billy. It's your turn. Alright, so we just got the first batch of our uh, of our color developer mixed. And since we used this funnel, I want to clean this funnel um, because I don't want to contaminate my mixture with combining the bleach and fix bath with my color. Bleach fix bath. We got part A, B, and part C. And look at it. We got four, five, and six. Isn't that fancy? Okay, for the bleach fix or the Blix mixture, we're gonna need 18 ounces of water. 18, 18 ounces of water. So we're on to our third and final mixture, which is the stabilizer or the final rinse. Um, it's also an optional step. Uh, my very first development kit that I got didn't come with stabilizer, um, but the, the liquid batch does. So I would always recommend doing it. It keeps the color stabilized for future scanning and for uh, archiving. So it's a very important step and it's also the fucking easiest. Actually, they're all, it's all pretty easy. I don't even know why I'm making this video. It's the stupidest video ever. So this mixture is pretty simple. It is 30 ounces, 30 fluid ounces of distilled water, which is 890 milliliters. That pretty much does it for uh, mixing your chemicals from your Sinistel CS41 kit. So now you can develop your own shit at home. Yeah, good stuff, huh? Again, thank you so much for watching this. Um, if you have any comments, 
critiques, concerns, questions, you know where I'm at. Do it, my man, and uh, enjoy your summer. All right, let's go make some magic. Thank you.